Now we're on packet tracer 4.1.3.5, implementing an IP addressing scheme. So before we begin, we are given a private address space, which is 192.168.1.0 slash 24, which is a subnet of 255.255.255.0. So we need enough addresses for 50 hosts on LAN A and 40 on LAN B. If you take time to configure out how many bits that you need to borrow, uh, which are six bits, and your subnet mask becomes 255.255.255.192. And your range is 64. The first thing we need to do is is click on host A and we're going to go to desktop IP configuration static and we're going to set up the IP address and they would like us to use the last usable host address which is 192.168.1.62 put in our subnet mask our new subnet mask which is 192 our default gateway, which is usually the first usable address, 192 in the network, 192.168.1.1. That's it for that one. And then you go to post B, or go to desktop IP configuration, 192. Our next range starts at 192.168.1.64 and the ending is at 192.168.1.127 but <clears throat> we're going to be using the last usable address for the host. Make sure to change your subnet mask to the correct notation. And your default gateway would be the first usable address, 168.1.65. Now we need to set up our router. A router needs IP addresses for the Ethernet connections. Let's start with the first one. So the first IP address is going to be what we gave the default gateway to the, the hosts, dot one, dot one, subnet mask, one, nine, two. That's it for that. So we go to the next one. Oh, don't forget to turn it on. You need to turn it on. So then we go to the next one, two, one, six, eight, dot one, dot six, five, and subnet mask 192 and turn it on okay here we can check to see which ones we didn't get right so <clears throat> I didn't get um, the fast ethernet IP address right on the port on the router. So we close. Let's go back to that one. Oh, I have 198. It's 192. <clears throat> so that's always good to double check make sure so now we can check our results again and it shows that everything is is up and if you want to check your connection you can just do a simple PDU and you click on the starting host and the destination and auto capture play and it will send 
and you can see it in action. And that was implementing an IP addressing scheme.